Now then, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome to Wharfdale and a walk up to Barden Moor on a cold January morning to reach Simon's Seat, a well-known rocky outcrop in these parts. Well, despite the rocks being my prime objective, the surprise of the day came right at the end on my way back to the car when I discovered an absolutely fantastic scene looking back up the hill with the sun going down on an old stone barn. Very traditional Yorkshire Dales fair, in fact. Enjoy. This is Barden Bridge in Wharfdale, and it's a cold, frosty morning in January. Barden Bridge is the starting point for a hike up onto Barden Moor to a rock formation known as Simon's Seat. At only six and a half miles in length, the circular walk isn't overly challenging, but it is January and the days are short, so I don't have time to spend admiring the river for too long if I want to get back to the car before the sun goes down. Fortunately, as the morning wears on and height is gained, so the frost and mist clinging to the valley bottom is left behind, and things warm up a bit. Not a lot. It is January, remember, but I'm generating enough heat of my own to start stripping off my heavy fleece and even roll my sleeves up. This is Simon's Seat, a prominent crag of millstone grit. Despite it being at a modest height of only 485 metres above sea level, the location provides walkers with some of the best views up Wharfdale and the surrounding moors. And as for its name, well, you can take your pick. There are many crags locally that have similar names, Lord Seat and Earl Seat for example, all named after estate owners. Another explanation is that it was a place of worship for Druids, one of whose most prominent figures from the first century AD being Simon the Sorcerer. Or there is an account from 1838 of a baby found by a shepherd boy whose name was, you guessed it, Simon. The climb was worth it, but the rocks didn't provide me with the subject matter for a painting that I was looking for. I may do something with the rocks at a later stage, but what did catch my eye was a location I encountered back at river level. This view, looking back up the hill from Howgill, 
completely blew me away. After a bit of tweaking with the photo, I just knew I had to try and capture it in watercolour. Which stones do you paint in and which do you leave out? This is a question I'm often asked to which there isn't really a satisfactory catch-all answer. This is largely an organic process of which picking and choosing makes up a large part. If you want the glib answer, I would say before applying any mark to the paper, ask yourself if it needs to be there. If it's crucial to the advancement of the message you wish your painting to convey, then it absolutely has to stay in. But if there's any doubt about its relevance in the grand scheme of things, then it probably won't be missed if you don't apply it which doesn't really explain why some of the marks that I've applied could, in retrospect, have been left out. If I had to explain them, my only defence would have to be that it felt right at the time. And that, in the end, is the crux of it. Unless you are a super organised, highly efficient planner of paintings with every line, colour, tone and minor enhancement planned out meticulously before putting brush or pencil to paper, then there is always a moment which I'm going to call a rogue thought moment when despite the brush being in our hands and under our control, the decision is taken out of our hands. Or to put it another way, it is some feeling or emotion that makes us place a brush mark the way we do. Now that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it.
I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please do hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, then maybe consider subscribing or even becoming a studio member of my YouTube channel. Get instant access to the full length version of the demonstration from which this has just been a very small extract. Well, there are other sign up options which you'll find in the description below. In the meantime, I'll leave you with a few final shots taken by the River Wharf on our way back to the car. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.